Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use and take complete advantage of the modeling tools inside NeoBarrack and um, a way of using them together with the material editing. So, by default, if you click and drag an object, for example a sphere, click and drag is going to be filled with a grey material, which is by default the material that uh, NeoBarrack assigns to every new object in a scene. Now, if you want to change this material, the quickest way to do it is going up here to this circle over here. Uh, which is a material editor and after you select that and tap on an object you can select a color to assign to it and that is going to be changed in real time which is absolutely amazing and I love it you can also change the roughness metalness and opacity in real time as well so that those are two brilliant things that Neobarrack has to offer and one more thing you can also change the lighting of your object uh, black no light white extremely bright and leaving that aside, we can now go into the more creative focused uh, material editor. And that one is right at the left uh, top corner over here, which is... Um, so you have both. You have two options, both to paint your object and fill your object. But before you can do anything, you need to select the material that you want to um, fill it or paint it with. So, same um, sort of um, tab. Uh, let's make it... Um, a magenta with a bit of lighting as well because we can do that of course make sure it is a really low intensity so it doesn't blind us okay so now I can paint this um, to change the size you just have to press on the accolade similar to Photoshop and now you can see that I can paint this object uh, paint is also dependent on the resolution of an object so for example adding a capsule to our scene and enable the wireframe you can see that and the um, the caps of the capsule have got much greater resolution and if I try to paint over that um, seam you can see that the resolution and the amount of paint that is being um, painted over the surface is um, much denser on the air that's got more polygons so that is one thing to keep in mind and now uh, the fill works pretty straightforward you just tap on your mesh and um, your mesh is going to be automatically filled with the material that is assigned in this tab and not this one keep in mind so now let's try to use this in a creative way new scene okay drag and drop a capsule why not uh, let's deactivate the wireframe because we don't need to see that activate perspective and selection okay now let's have a bit of fun with this first of all or one of the things that I love doing is cutting a plane so click and drag click and drag click and drag click and drag now there are a bunch of stuff that you can do about this so one of the things I love is doing a normal tear one two three four Okay, now, now let's add another capsule inside to create some interesting effects. Uh, rotate, try to position it in the middle. Uh, what we can do is start fiddling with the object on top even more. What I want to do now is do some normal extruding. And note that the difference that is being created it is filled with the material that's been assigned over here. So if you want to change that, that edge that's just been created over there. We just need to change the material that is going to be filled from here. Let's do this a couple of times and enjoy the leveling effects that is being um, created. Okay. Now, another thing that we can do to this thing is, as I said, we can change our material we fill with. So let's change the lighting from a magenta to a blue, for example, and do some more cuts. Cut sphere is something that I uh, really enjoy. And I'm going to do a couple of them right over here. One, two, and one intersecting with both of them. And going back to normal extrude is going to be doing something <laughs> of the sort. This is one of the most relaxing um, activities that I can think of right now. Okay, so this was it for today. I'm going to leave you with a few more videos um, on the same topic of modeling and using materials and lighting in order to create uh, various objects. And 
At the end you will see me modeling what uh, was soon to become a character and that is what we are going to do in our next tutorial to do a full character using both the traditional modeling tools like extrude and tear and scale combined with more sculpture brushes and combining a bit of um, tubes techniques and employing a bit of our knowledge of anatomy in order to create something a bit more complex and complete. So enjoy these videos and um, I hope I'm going to be able to create another video in the next week and that will be from my beloved PC and it should be a bit um, longer and more in depth and I hope that in the end we will have something that is presentable and can be actually used as a portfolio piece perhaps. So all the best to you, good luck and have fun. Bye bye. <coughs> oh, you can't tell me that I'm cool. I've always wanted to be cool. Life's not bad right now I can't complain So I think I might go to This party that this girl invited me to Oh, oh, oh And so I get dressed I look at myself in the mirror And I say, oh no Is that what I really look like? I don't wanna be me But that's only half of Cause inside I know I'm cool, so cool I just